are in the village of Delvina, southern Albania, on the foot of Mount uh, Yere or something like that it's called, I don't quite remember, anyway it's a nice mountain. And on the other side of the mountain is Girocaster, the famous town of Girocaster, and that's where we are heading for today. We are about 27-28 kilometers from there, I reckon, more or less. But to begin with, we'll need to climb up the mountain. We're going to have uh, 16 or 13, 13 kilometers, I think, up to the ridge and 1200 meters of ascent mm -hmm. and uh, then we go some way down to find a nice shelter we camp for the night and uh, off we continue tomorrow for new year for new year <laughs> after tomorrow mm -hmm. the weather is not as ideal as it could be but it could be much worse than this and we've had it much worse we had it much worse absolutely so for now we shouldn't be complaining, just a little drizzle, it may get much worse later on, but we'll manage it, what do you think so? Yes, we will. <laughs> our initial destination on the foot of that hill, Lefterohore, a Greek village. It should take us maybe an hour and a half to get there and then we're having a nice break before starting the hard ascent on the steep mountain that's now inside the clouds and you can't see nor can we. It's that high. We exactly. <laughs> the start of area but already. you'll warm up as we go we are almost at Lefero Hall She was happened? saying stuff, I wasn't understanding oh. quite in detail something about her children, how to have children now and uh, well yeah nothing too concrete, just oh. general complaining oh. and she was afraid of the idea that we're going to cross the mountain with this weather. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Start mom. <laughs> well, we made it to Lefterohori. The last civilization till tomorrow afternoon when we reach our destination. We had our break, a cup of tea, a little brunch, and we continue. 
getting in further up it's started to get pretty cold by now and windy but luckily fairly dry yeah. just a little drizzling but no serious rain layering up <laughs> how many layers oh, one No, no, you have one more. There this you one? go, yeah. Two. <laughs> Three. No, that's wait. right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you've got no, one got more. Me. Uh, no, no, one more. Ah, huh? uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so that's very. <laughs> it's like a rainbow. <laughs> Four. <laughs> They are now she's ready. <laughs> Come on, rain. Come at me. Yeah, Bloody phones. Did you delay your, yes. your head? I did. Warmer. Uh -huh. We are going up there. Is that where we're going? Yeah, up there and then oh, further yeah. into the mountains. Is that a road? Yeah, like this one, dirt road. short break we are coming very close to the ridge the ridge is right over there where you see in the clouds not that far away probably we have some uh, 500 meters to climb Sophie's behind she's coming over there nicely and slowly I'm, I think she's looking forward to this break
can see the village from here, Delvina. path again so we're just maybe about a hundred or so vertical meters from the ridge and some 500 possibly horizontal to take us like 10-15 minutes to get to the ridge and then down we go we made it to the bloody ridge without any significant rain now it's just drizzling a bit and now and then but we are not too serious Poor Sophie is struggling down there, but she's done great, she's done great, she's very strong. Good job, Sophie! She's too concentrated. Maybe to the ridge of the mountain. 1,353 meters, that way over there goes to some of the peaks, but that's not our plan for today, we'll be heading straight down the other way. Do not go that way now? No, 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 we're going straight down. So and it's just started Castro. raining. And it just started <laughs> raining, but I wouldn't complain about that, it's yeah? Lovely. If it was, uh, if it was dry all the way up to here, I can deal with uh, an hour or two raining on our way down we find a nice place to camp for tonight. We are heading straight through the fog over there. Straight down, yeah? Yeah. Dolls, we are coming out of the clouds. That's exactly where we are going down there. Beautiful. We can pretty much see Lazarat already. Let's head down to find some water and a nice camping spot. I am tired. Okay, that's it for today. We found this lovely, heavenly little spot. We camp here. Unfortunately, there isn't any running water anywhere nearby. But we'll do with what we have, we should be fine, we shall we have uh, plenty to drink and uh, cook as well. In case of need, there must be, this must be some water up there hanging from the tree. It belongs to some shepherd, so we won't uh, touch it. And we won't need to, no, we should be fine. But if we are going to die from behind this plan, it was a bit too windy up there, not uh, quite... Uh, Great idea. Leave that. Are you okay, so? The batteries, huh? Sophie's camera is running out of battery, but she's got some new ones in the bag for tomorrow, so it's okay. Yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, we're looking for a new camping spot. We are. We may go there close to the waterfall. I don't know if you can see the waterfall. It seems like a lovely place, but I don't see any flat ground so far. We're going to have a closer look down there if we could camp near the water, not too near to be too loud, and uh, we cannot sleep anymore. But close enough to have easy access to water if there is any flat ground. Otherwise, we're heading for that little meadow over there. Let's see where it's going to lead us. To Fire. make some tea. We are inside the tent, <laughs> nice and warm, nice clean and, and dry clothes. Oh, now it's time for a cup of tea and then we are making dinner. What's for dinner tonight, Sophie? Pasta. With? Cheese and tomato sauce. Cheese and tomato sauce. Mm. And eggs. We've got eggs as well. And I said, my favorite. 
I'm going to save my egg. I'm going to save first my bread. Maybe I'll save my egg for breakfast too. You got fish. But I also have pork and this. Sophie's a vegetarian. So I'm going to treat myself to something, to some extra things. 8 a.m. already. It's been raining almost non-stop all night and all morning. Uh, we'll have to brave it soon. We'll have to brave it soon and go out in the rain. The good thing is that we don't have a long way, maybe around uh, 8 or 9 kilometers to our accommodation, downhills, good path. So we will soon have to, to abandon our nice dry clothes, get on the wet ones, everything wet as a fuck, and uh, get moving slowly. Just finish this cup of tea, smoke a ciggy, eat our breakfast, and get moving in the cold, chilly rain. Hey, Sophie. I don't want to be. You want to stay here today as well, the whole day? I just want a nice clear spell of no rain so we can quickly pack everything up um, and go to our nice new accommodation with a bathtub. I think going to happen, it doesn't I know. seem to be stopping. I know. So we'll have to do it. Of course. So this dinner is becoming today's breakfast. Let's warm it up a little to make it slightly more decent. As the rain has stopped for now, it's our chance to get moving. We are all wet. And, yeah. It has snowed on the next mountain. Really? <coughs> yeah, yeah, on the next mountain. There's snow on the top. Down there. Wow, oh shit. That's where we have to go, down there, that village Lazarat. From there, we cut through the slope to Argiro Castro. Just straight. Behave, behave. is public wasteland to welcome us into the village anyhow we made it Lazarat we ended up we see if we can find a nice place for the coffee before going to the Rocastor 
otherwise we we'll go there directly kilometers away we're having a little break and uh, we're starting on the last leg of this trip this is our home for the next three nights four nights four nights we will see the new year in here it about this trip <laughs> we've just entered the Hiroka store time to rest a bit for the next couple of days and plan another trip I don't know, you don't know? I don't know. 